to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. Please remember this is a general reading. Lots of people, lots of questions, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's general yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the sodalite, reading number two with the ocean jasper, Reading number three with the pyrite. Reading number four with the azurite. And reading number five with the turquoise. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the sodalite. Your first message of the reading is to speak your truth. So whatever truth there is that you've been hiding inside yourself, now may be a good time to start verbalizing it. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. That's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right. We start with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands talks about a passionate beginning, um, something that has your passions all tied up in it. Next, we see the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups talks about a beginning that has emo emotional fulfillment. So we're starting right off with a passionate beginning, an emotional beginning, and those two kind of tied together. Next, we see the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords talks about heartbreak. So some kind of heartbreak, something that, that feels heartbreaking um, or just you know, leaves you with kind of a feeling of loss. Next, we see the death card. Death talks about an ending. It's over. It's done. Um, it does bring in a new beginning with it, but it's kind of a definitive ending. And then topping everything off, we have the Ten of Cups. All right, so the Ten of Cups is about a happy, peaceful home life. It can talk about moving. Um, it's got a very peaceful energy. See how there's two people and they're kind of like cheersing and the, it's a very positive energy. Okay, so looking at this as a yes or no, we've got that Three of Swords in there and the Death card, which holds some really um, negative energy to them. But just, you know, in the same breath, we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, which are all very, very positive energy. So I feel like the answer to your question is going to be yes. It may have an ending involved in it of some kind, an overdone door shut ending. It might even feel a little bit heartbreaking, this ending. But the ending brings in a new beginning that has um, passion and emotion and happiness at the culmination of it. So the answer, probably yes. Um, maybe some heartbreak, but a wonderful beginning that follows that. 
Now, let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number one, please, please show us their situations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so Palace of Wands, living in a place of your passions. Tower, all right, that talks about change. Things kind of getting broken down to be rebuilt new. Six of Wands, that talks about victory, so celebrating those victories. And the Ace of Swords, a new beginning where you take action. You have three aces in your reading now. You got two aces in the Transparent Tarot, and now there's a third. So there is a new beginning that is very significant happening here. The Death card talks about a new beginning. Now there's change too, because something is ending. But you have victorious energy in that. You're following your passions. Your emotions are wrapped into it with the, tra with the uh, transparent tarot, having the Ace of Cups. So whatever's changing, I don't think it's a bad change. None of us really like change very much for the most part. But it feels like this is a really good change. And the beginning, you get to choose when it starts because you're the one that takes the action to make that beginning start. Now, let's get Oracle for everything. Angels, for group number one, please. Whatever's in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you. Gratitude, yes. Make sure that gratitude is part of your every single day. Gratitude helps draw in more of what we desire. So make sure that gratitude is part of everything. It's very important to show gratitude for what you have. Now, let's see the tower. With regards to all the change, what is there for the tower? Look at the bigger picture. Okay, so as we go through the change, whatever's ending, whatever's starting, your guides are asking you to look at the bigger picture, to look at you know, what is coming in despite what is leaving. What's coming in definitely outweighs it. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon. We're gonna look at that Ace of Swords with Queen of the Moon. What is there for Queen of the Moon here for this Ace of Swords? Balance. Okay, so as you step into this beginning, and like I said, it's you that chooses it. It's you that takes the action to step into the beginning. As you step into the beginning, you need to focus on balance. I would say a balance of passion and emotion because we've got both sides of that coin here. Now, let's also see the Palace of Wands. Action. So we've got action here and action here. Passions lead to action, but the action works out to be very beneficial. And I'm not just talking about passions like the type you have in a relationship. This could be passions for your career. It could be passions for your hobby. Um, it is just you being passionate and following that kind of fire inside you energy. Now let's see the six of wands here out of the spell casting oracle, the victory life purpose. So making strides towards your life purpose, very victorious there. And the transparent tarot, which was yes, even though it may hold some heartbreak and an ending to get to the yes, you get justice that talks about balance. So there is balance to that. You know, you've got a wonderful new beginning. There is something that's ending to bring in that new beginning, but it is going to balance. Whatever you feel as though you've lost, whatever you feel heartbroken over is going to be replaced and evened out in that new beginning. So it is going to balance itself out. All right. That's all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the Ocean Jasper. Your first message of the reading is to schedule yourself in. So make sure you're making time to take care of you. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. 
Okay, let's see. Here. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the moon. The moon can talk about fear around decisions. It also says that your guides could be talking to you through your dreams. So maybe some big decisions you're dealing with where there's hesitancy to make them. Um, your guides trying to bring in guidance. Next, we see the five of wands. The five of wands talks about fighting. Um, fighting, controversy, arguing, that sort of energy. Next, we see the lovers. The lovers talks about the soulmate connection. Um, it talks about romantic soulmates more often than not, finding your soulmate, um, furthering a relationship with your soulmate. Next, we see the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles talks about opportunity that's out in front of you where you have to take action to step into it. The opportunity's there, but you have to choose it. Next, we see the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords says you're moving forward, but you might be bringing emotional baggage with you. Don't bring emotional energy from previous relationships into your new one. Topping everything off, we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups talks about a new beginning that is emotionally fulfilling, kind of your cup running over with positive emotions. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, we have that Five of Wands in there and that Six of Swords, which do have kind of negative connotations to them. But with the Lovers and the Ace of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, it does look like the answer is probably yes. There may be some decisions that you're hesitant to make and you really need to open yourself to your guides, but it looks like the answer to your question here is most likely yes. Now let's take a look at your situations, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number two. Thank you, thank you. Five of Cups, so there is some looking at the losses versus looking at what you have to be thankful for, to be grateful for. One of the best ways to break up Five of Cups energy is with gratitude. Page of Swords, that talks about paying attention to details. It can also talk about watching. Someone may be paying attention to you through your social media, or likewise, you might be paying attention to someone else through theirs. Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands is fantastically passionate about everything. She is, you know, she is her true authentic self. She owns her energy, and that is you stepping into your true genuine energy. And then there's that Six of Swords again. You guys are moving forward, but you're bringing something from the past with you. It could be a hurt in a past relationship that's coming into a new relationship that needs to be let go. That past situation shouldn't have any bearing on the current situation. Letting go of that emotional baggage is going to help you step into your true authentic energy. Now let's get Oracle for everything. So we'll start with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number two, please, whatever's in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you. Archangel Chamuel. Archangel Chamuel is the Archangel of Love. She helps with all things love. Doesn't have to be romantic love, but she totally can if it is. So she's offering her assistance with regards to love in your life. Reach out to her if you so choose and desire her attention and um, her kind of her love energy to help things and you know, smooth things out. Now, let's see the Five of Cups. What is there for the Five of Cups here, please? What do you need to release? What did I say about that emotional baggage? The Five of Cups, looking at the losses, you've got to release that energy. That's gonna allow you to move forward with kind of a clear energy. Now, let's also see the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords has to do with watching believe in the impossible. Okay. So the pay, I mean, it can also deal with, um, paying attention to the details. If the details seem overwhelming to you, it's important to believe in the impossible, to believe that you can overcome whatever situation is in front of you. Also, if you're watching someone's social media, believing that, you know, the situation is going to work out, you know, that sort of thing, also very helpful in transitioning into new energy. 
Now let's take a look at Queen of the Moon and we will see the Queen of Wands. What is there for the Queen of Wands here? This authentic energy, the void. This is just the beginning. You are just starting to step into your true authentic energy. You've got to release whatever you're hanging on to from the past so that you can step into your true passion energy. Now, the Six of Swords, which is about moving forward and letting go, you get protection. Okay, so let go of those situations from the past. You are protected in the current energy. You don't have to worry about past situations. They're over, they're done with, and you're moving forward. So you have protection in the now. Let go of the situations of the past. Now, let's take a look at the Transparent Tarot with the Spell Casting Oracle. The answer to your question was most likely yes, although there are things you need to release and decisions you need to make. Lighten your load. One of those decisions needs to be to stop carrying the weight of the world on your back. You can do that by letting go of the emotional baggage that you're carrying from your previous connections. So whatever you can do to let go of the heavier energy you're carrying, that's gonna help you step into whatever it is you're asking about. So lighten your load, don't carry the weight of the world on your back, and the answer is most likely yes, but you've got some things to release to get there. All right, that's all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the Pyrites. Your first message of the reading is let the money flow in. So make sure you don't have any blockages keeping your financial abundance from, you know, flooding into your life. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, so we start with the magician. The magician talks about manifesting. It says that you are capable of drawing whatever energy you desire into your realm by focusing your thoughts and energy on it. Next, we see the nine of swords. The nine of swords talks about anxiety. I'm not talking about a diagnosis, I'm talking about a feeling. Anxiety is fear of the future, fear of what's gonna happen. So some of you may be looking into the future and fearing it, what you need to do is start manifesting what you desire in it. Next, we see the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups talks about fun and celebrating with friends, having things to celebrate. It can even talk about pregnancy and birth in some situations. Next, we see the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands talks about unity. It talks about, um, it talks about um, travel sometimes. It is good news on the horizon. Next, we see the Hierophant. The Hierophant can talk about some alone time. It says that you can use that alone time to focus on your inner self, to do the inner work you need to, to be able to move forward. And then topping everything off, we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands talks about doors opening. It can represent marriage. It represents opportunity, um, kind of the doors opening to your passions. All right, so this particular spread is actually very interesting because we have all of this energy at the pinnacle of that mountain. 
you've got you know the four of wands kind of opening there and then you've got the the three of wands you know with the fire there and you've got the three of cups with the celebration there all the energy is really right there i think the dragons even from the magician are right back in this point it's like the center point at the pinnacle of the mountain Okay, so the hermit, oh, as far as the yes or no, the hermit does carry some negative um, idea to it, and it is Major Arcana. All the other cards, including the Magician, are very, very positive. The, well, with the exception of the Nine of Swords, which has a little bit of anxiety to it as well. But it does look like the answer to your question is yes. Now, I feel like there is definitely some work that has to be done, kind of climbing to the pinnacle of the mountain to get what it is you desire. So there's some work that has to be done, but it does appear that the answer to your question is most likely yes. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what's going on here. Queen of Coins. The Queen of Coins can talk about your abundance coming in. It can also talk about generosity, um, sharing, and you know that that sort of energy. It oftentimes represents a person. It could be your energy or the energy of someone you're interacting with. The Queen of Coins does not have to be super abundant, but she shares like she is. She shares whatever she has. Three of Coins, that talks about appreciation, being appreciated for your energy, for the work that you do. Six of Wands, that's victory, celebrating those victories, that's beautiful energy. And the Two of Swords, so even with all the celebration and the material things, there's still something that's a little bit stuck. You know, the Two of Swords is about a stalemate. Some situation where you don't see your way out of it and you're kind of stuck, unable to know how to move forward. All right, now let's take a look at Oracle and we'll see what there is to add to everything. Angels, for group number three, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Silence your thoughts. All right, so with regards to this stalemate, wherever there's stuck energy, whatever situation you can't quite see your way out of, your guides are asking you to silence your thoughts, do some meditating, you know, have a nice conversation with your guides so that they can help you see your way out of this. Now we'll get direct um, Oracle for the Two of Swords. What is there to help them clear up the energy of the Two of Swords? Your commitment is being tested. All right, so it's possible that whatever situation you're in, um, it's happening. The other person is just kind of trying to test your commitment to the situation. That and just knowing that may be able to help you navigate through it. Either way, you can overcome it. Your commitment is being tested, so it does seem like it's taking a little bit, but you can overcome whatever the stuck energy is. It is possible. Now, let's see the Queen of Coins with Queen of the Moon. What is there to add to Queen of the Moon here, please? Will. Okay. So, the Queen of Coins is about sharing generously what you have, sharing it with others, or someone sharing generously with you. Your will is playing a factor here. So, make sure that you are setting your will to share what you have, to be generous with what you have, and that energy is going to be reflected back at you from the universe. Now, let's see the three of coins. Hunger. All right, you guys may be a little bit hungry right now for some appreciation for your work. This looks like a raise or money coming in based off of what you do. Your hunger for it is there. It is coming in. Like we started with the magician in the transparent tarot. You are manifesting that, drawing it to yourself. Don't let your hunger for it keep you from realizing it. Um, the desire for it can manifest more desire. So know that you're worth being appreciated for your energy. Expect that you're going to be appreciated for your energy and let that money flow to you. Now, let's see the spell casting oracle for the Six of Wands, which is victory. You are celebrating a victory somewhere, and that is fantastic, or you will be very soon. Compassion. 
All right, so there is a victory and compassion is tied into it. So it may be that the universe is, you know, bringing this victory in out of compassion or something like that, or your compassion has led to your victory. But either way, you're going to be celebrating that victory. Now for the transparent tarot, which was yes to whatever you asked, though there may be some energy you need to put in, you know, kind of climbing the mountain to get there. You get new beginnings. All right. So the answer is yes. And a new beginning is tied into it in some way. All right. That's all I have for reading number three. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the Azerite. Your first message of the reading is to get laser focused. So make sure your focus is where you desire it to be so you can draw the energy you desire. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, once more. All right, there we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay. We start with the sun. The sun is beautiful, positive energy. Absolutely positive here, all about growth, opportunity. Um, it even takes the negativity out of anything it touches. Next, we see the Ace of Swords. That is a beginning where you take action, you decide, you choose it, and you step into a beginning. Next, we see the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles talks about um, making decisions with your money. It can talk about um, kind of struggling financially a little bit, um, having to figure out how you're going to pay your bills and make those kind of decisions, but it's focused on the decision itself. Next, we see the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands talks about fighting for what you want, and it says that if you fight for it, you will succeed in the end. You, Where you put your energy in, you're going to be successful. Next, we see the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups talks about a happy home life situation, um, being peaceful in your home life, having you know um, an abundance of harmony in your home scenario. And then topping everything off, we have the Phoenix, which is judgment. It talks about a second chance, stepping into a second chance, somewhere that you desire. All right, this looks like a pretty solid yes to whatever you ask tarot. You may have to kind of fight for what you want, but it does look like the answer is yes. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number four. Thank you, thank you. All right, you get the fool. You're at the very beginning of a journey and it's significant. You're starting something new. This is significant in your life though. Page of Coins, that talks about opportunity. You have to step into it. You have to take action. That Ace of Swords also talks about action. You're at the beginning of something, but you have to choose it. Four of Swords, that talks about getting some rest. Make sure even though you're at the beginning of your journey, you still need to take care of your body. You still need to take care of you. Make sure you're getting rest. Make sure you're taking a break when you need to. Choosing something and starting it doesn't mean you stop resting. And then the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is dream come true energy. It's wish fulfillment energy. So something happening that's going to feel like a dream come true. Now let's take a look at Oracle. We're going to start with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number four, please. Whatever's in their best benefit. Harmony. All right. So harmony coming into your realm, living in harmony, living in peace, 
That is beautiful energy. Now let's see this Four of Swords. What is there to add to the Four of Swords? The idea that you need to get a little bit of rest, make sure you're taking care of you. You don't let your past hold you back. Just because you haven't always taken care of you doesn't mean you shouldn't today. So don't let whatever has happened in the past hold you back. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Make sure that you are giving yourself rest, showing yourself compassion. Now let's see Queen of the Moon. We're gonna look at that page of coins with regards to the action that's needed for the material opportunity. Realization, okay, so we start by realizing where the opportunity is. There is an opportunity out in front of you where you take action, you can step into it, make a new beginning. You are right there at kind of the doorway to realizing this, so make sure you're communicating with your guides and keeping your thoughts open. Let's also see the fool here. Nourishment, okay, so you got to take care of yourself over here. You got to nourish yourself as you step into the new journey. I think it's very important that you are stepping into something really significant and you need to make sure you are taking care of yourself as you begin this. Now, let's take a look at the spell casting oracle for the Nine of Cups. That is the idea that it is wish fulfillment energy. So what is there to add to the wish fulfillment? love. I like it. Okay. Some of you stepping into situations that have true, genuine love, and that is beautiful. It doesn't have to be romantic love. It can be though. Either way, it feels like a dream come true because it's something you've really been desiring. Now the transparent tarot, you could travel. That talks about moving forward. Part of your answer being yes has to do with travel or it has to do with moving forward. You have to take action to step forward, but as you do, make sure you're taking care of yourself as well. All right, the answer to your question is most likely yes. Moving forward has something to do with it. All right, that's all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the turquoise. Your first message of the reading is to prioritize your health. Make sure that you are taking care of you. Make sure that you are making your health, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual, your health needs to be your priority. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot yes or no to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top taking three to six cards, that will get us our yes or no answer. Well, I just like drop those everywhere. Let's try that again. All right, we'll do it this way. There we go. Maybe once more. All right, there we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay. So we start with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords talks about moving forward but it says you're carrying a little bit of emotional baggage with you. Um, so just let go of anything you can from previous situations that doesn't have a bearing on this situation. Next, we see the emperor. The emperor talks about making decisions with regards to your life, deciding which way things are gonna go. It has kind of a powerful energy to it. It is, um, almost an overpowering energy. You can choose to be in control of your life and make the decisions that take you where you want to go. Next, we see justice. Justice talks about balance. You balancing work and play, passion and emotion, having that nice, healthy balance in your life. Next, we see the Page of Wands. 
The Page of Wands can talk about reconnecting to passion or following passions. Um, this could be reconnecting to a passionate hobby. It could be reconnecting to, um, you know, something that you, you know, anything that you're passionate about really, including relationships. It could be reconnecting to a passionate relationship. Next, we see the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups talks about emotional maturity, says that you have the capacity for dealing with the deeper emotional situations in front of you. And then topping everything off, we have the Two of Cups, which talks about the soulmate connection, stepping into the soulmate connection, deepening a soulmate connection, whether or not it is romantic, it's dealing with a soulmate in some way. Now, looking at this as a yes or no, the first couple of cards are pretty neutral, but then we get to all the emotion cards like the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups, and those are pretty positive. So I, I think that the answer is most likely yes here. There is the idea that you need to make decisions that guide you into it though. So yes, if you choose it. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we've got the Ace of Coins. That talks about a new material beginning. And the Nine of Wands. So maybe making a sacrifice that's keeping you from progressing in some way. The sacrifice is probably not even necessary. We'll get Oracle to see how you deal with it. Six of coins, that's giving and receiving. And then the king of swords, that talks about some significant challenges you're dealing with. But it says that you can strategize your way through them. You can get past them. You have the capacity. It's just going to take a minute. Now, let's take a look at Oracle. We're going to start with Angel Oracle. Angels for group number five, please. Whatever's in their best benefit get cherish innocence all right so it is very important to cherish innocence and there's innocence within all of us cherish your inner child listen to that inner voice do not lose that wonderful innocence that we all have within us now let's see let's start with the nine of wands with regards to the sacrifice what is there to assist with this nine of wands energy bring love into the situation. So wherever you're making a sacrifice, wherever you're taking a strong position and it's costing you something, make sure you're bringing love into that situation. Let love guide you. It's gonna help you work your way out of that sacrifice. Now for the King of Swords and the challenges. All right, it's a time to give rather than take. That Six of Coins is about giving and receiving. So some of you may be receiving something, but some of you may be giving things as well. Let's see Queen of the Moon. We're gonna look at that Ace of Coins, the new beginning of a material nature. What is there for the Ace of Coins here, please? Thank you, thank you. Surrender, all right, you're being told to kind of go with the flow of the universe. Surrender to the universal energies. It's gonna take you to a beginning that has a positive impact on your material realm. Now for the six of coins, the giving and receiving, you get new beginnings. So there is a gift that is creating a new beginning. You're told to give rather than take. That's dealing with the, um, the challenges that you're facing. It could relate to the material things. So you could be being told to give, to help others, to bring that kind of energy in. And that could take you into a brand new beginning. Either way, there's, there's a new beginning tied into the giving and receiving. So you could be receiving something that starts a new beginning or giving it yourself. Now let's take a look at the transparent tarot with the spell casting oracle. What is there for the transparent tarot, please? Thank you, thank you. Lighten your load. All right, so the answer is yes but you need to lighten your load. It may be the emotional baggage from the Six of Swords that you're trying to move through. It may be the decisions that you need to make that once you make them, that will lighten your load. In some way or another, lightening your load is tied in to your answer being most likely yes. All right, that's all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. 
Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.